Hello students, today we are going to discuss AI ATS that is All India Cash Test Series Test Number 4 for Chemistry. So let's begin with, we have question number 46 which says that an ethanolic solution of naphthalene contains 0.25 mole fraction of solute. So the molality of solution is, so you have been given 0.25 mole fraction of solute. And here the solute is naphthalene and the solvent is ethanol. So we can say that the number of moles of solute are equal to 0.25 and assume the total moles are equal to 1. So number of moles of solute equal to 0.25. And the total moles in the solution are equal to 1. So we can find out the number of moles of solvent. So the number of moles of solvent will be equal to 1 minus 0.25. So it is equal to 0.75. So now we have got the number of moles of solvent that is 0.75. So we can calculate the mass of the solvent. So the mass of solvent will be simply equal to number of moles into the molar mass. So number of moles is 0.75 and the molar mass of ethanol is 46 grams. So now we have to calculate the molality of the solution. So for the molality we need number of moles of solute and the mass of solvent. So molality will be equal to number of moles of solute. So it is 0.25 divided by mass of solvent that is 0.75 into 46. So this is in grams convert this into kilograms. So now calculate this you will get 7.25 molar solution. So the option number 3 is the correct answer and you can directly use the formula as well. Molality is equal to mole fraction of solute divided by mole fraction of solvent into molecular weight of solvent into 1000. So this formula you can also apply this is the direct formula to calculate the molality of the solution if you have the mole fraction of solute. So the option number 3 is our correct answer. Moving on to the next one students we have question number 47 which says that 100 gram of a mixture of calcium carbonate and sodium carbonate was ignited strongly which forms 11.2 liter of carbon dioxide at STP. Then the mass ratio of sodium carbonate and calcium carbonate in the mixture will be. So now you have calcium carbonate and when it is ignited strongly so it forms calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide fine and you have also sodium carbonate but on heating sodium carbonate does not undergo any reaction so now you have 11.2 liter of carbon dioxide so, 11.2 liter of carbon dioxide produced hoye, ye sirf kiski wajay se hoye? Calcium carbonate ki wajay se. So, sodium carbonate has no role in the production of carbon dioxide. So, now you can see here, if you have 100 gram of calcium carbonate, means 1 mole of calcium carbonate. So, you can have 22.4 liter of CO2. I hope this is clear to you. But now you have 11.2 liter of carbon dioxide. So, how much mass will be 50 grams. So, now you have mass of calcium carbonate that is 50 gram. And you have 100 gram of the mixture. So, sodium carbonate ka mass will be 100 minus 50. So, the mass of sodium carbonate will be equal to 100 minus 50 so it is 50 grams 
So now you have to calculate the mass ratio of sodium carbonate and calcium carbonate. So the mass ratio will be 50 by 50. So it is equal to 1 is to 1. So the option number 4 is our correct answer. Moving on to the next one now, we have question number 48, which says that which of the following has maximum number of atoms. So to calculate here the maximum number of atoms, first we will calculate the number of moles in each of the four cases. So in the first case, we have 22.4 liter of CO2. So we can calculate number of moles. So here the number of moles will be equal to 22.4 divided by 22.4. So it is equal to 1. So now you have to calculate the number of atoms. So number of atoms kitne ho jayenge? So agar 1 mole hoga CO2 to kitne moles honge atom ki? 3 moles. So we have 3 Na atoms. I hope this is clear to you. So next is also similar. We have 44.8 liter of oxygen at STP. So we can calculate here number of moles. So number of moles will be simply given volume that is 44.8 divided by molar volume that is 22.4. So it is equal to 2. So now number of atoms will be equal to 2 into 2 because in 1 mole of oxygen we have 2 moles of oxygen atoms. So it is 2 into 2 Na. So it is 4 Na atoms. Now we have third option in which we have 1 liter of water at 4 degrees Celsius. Now you can see here, here STP condition is not mentioned. Here we have been given 4 degrees Celsius temperature. And we know that the density of water is equal to 1 gram per ml. Agar 1 ml mein 1 gram hai to 1 liter mein kitna ho jayega? It will be equal to 1000 gram water. So now we can calculate the number of moles present in 1000 gram of water. So it will be equal to given weight that is 1000 divided by molar weight of water that is equal to 18. So we will be having 55.55 moles. So we have 55.5 moles. So now you can easily calculate the number of atoms. So if we have 8 moles of water, so we will be having 3 moles of atoms. So 55.5 moles mein kitne ho jayenge? 55.55 into 3 into Avogadro's number. So now in the fourth option, we have 11.2 liter of SO3. Calculate first the number of moles. So number of moles kitne ho jayenge? 11.2 that is the given volume divided by molar volume that is 22.4. So it is equal to 0.5. So now calculate number of atoms. Number of atoms will be 0.5 into 4 into Avogadro's number. So it is equal to 2Na. So now you can see here the highest number of atoms are present in 1 liter of water at 4 degree Celsius. So we have option number 3 is the correct answer. Moving on to the next one, we have question number 49, which says that the 3 gram of a metal M combines with 2 gram of oxygen to form its metal oxide. 0 0.03 equivalent of this metal oxide is dissolved in 500 ml of water to form 0 0.01 molar aqueous solution. The molar mass of metal oxide is. So this is a very very good question. So we have a metal which is combining with oxygen. 
to form a metal oxide which is M2OX because we don't know the valency of metal. So you can see here the given weight of metal that is 3 grams and the given weight of oxygen that is 2 grams. So according to the law of chemical equivalence, the number of equivalents of metal should be equal to number of equivalents of oxygen. So number of equivalents is equal to weight divided by equivalent weight. So the given weight of metal that is 3 grams divided by equivalent weight of metal that we have to find out is equal to given weight of oxygen that is 2 and the equivalent weight of oxygen that is equal to 8. So if you calculate this, you will find out the equivalent weight of metal that is 12. Fine. Now see the second information. So you have been given 0 0.03 equivalent of metal oxide which is dissolved in 500 ml of water to form 0 0.01 molar aqueous solution. And we know the formula for molarity which is equal to number of moles divided by volume of solution. in ml and convert this into liters and now you have been given the 0 0.01 molar aqueous solution and here you have been given 0 0.03 equivalent so convert this into number of moles so it will be equal to 0 0.03 divided by n factor because the number of equivalents are equal to number of moles into n factor so volume of solution we have been given 500 ml so from here, if you calculate this, the N factor for metal oxide will be equal to 6. So now you have got the N factor for metal oxide. So the equivalent weight of metal oxide is equal to molar mass of metal oxide divided by N factor. So the equivalent weight of metal oxide will be equal to equivalent weight of metal plus equivalent weight of oxygen. And equivalent weight of metal we have already found out that is 12 and the equivalent weight of oxygen we know that is 8 is equal to molar mass of metal oxide divided by n factor. So here the molar mass of metal oxide will be equal to 20 into 6 which is equal to 120 grams. So the option number 4 is the correct answer. So I hope this is clear to you. So students coming on to the next one we have question number 50 which says that the number of fundamental particles present in 16 gram of O2 to negative S. So what do you mean by fundamental particles? So the fundamental particles are electron, proton and the neutron. So if you see in one ion of O2 to negative how many electrons will be present? It will be equal to 16 plus 2 that is 18 electron and proton will be equal to 16 and the neutron will be equal to 16. So we will be having 50 fundamental particles in one ion of O2 to negative. So now you have been given the 16 gram of O2 to negative. So you can find out the number of ions present in 16 gram of O2 to negative. So the number of ions present in 16 gram of O2 to negative so which will be simply equal to given weight divided by molar mass into Avogadro's number. So the given weight is 16 molar mass is 32 into Avogadro's number so it is equal to 0.5 Na. So now we know that in one ion how many Fundamental particles are 50. So 0.5 Na is how many? So total fundamental particles so the total fundamental particles will be equal to 0.5 Na into 50. So it is equal to 25 Na. So students, option number 1 is our correct answer. 
So moving on to the next one now. 